if there wasn't a big change in hardware, the technician still could fix the vehicle if he had the proper software. Okay, so um, what happens then is if there's no real significant change in hardware or the need to change hardware, the focus from Autel has been on software, keeping That's up with the software necessary to fix the cars and provi providing all the information we need. That's correct. But now there was a need for a change in hardware because of Android technology, which we can all use, and that led us to the next level. For someone that wants something that's small, um, simple, uh, affordable, and powerful, here's the tool here. But what's unique about this compared to this one is the, the Maxi Sys, we can do more add-ons to the tool. So for instance, this one here doesn't have an Ethernet port. This one does. All right, so here is another great example of hardware had to change because we have the J2534 boxes and things like that. So yep, we've got an upgrade. We've got a bigger tool that can support more functions, more features. Before we go any further though, tell us about the extra little boxes here. Well, we added a Bluetooth VCI. So this tool here, which is the VCI vehicle communication interface, with the latest Bluetooth can go 500 feet from the car. No kidding. And it can automatically detect the Bluetooth, so there's no setup needed for the technician. You brought a J-Box. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, what's unique about our J-Box is Autel made, made the J-Box, and we made it special. And what's special about it, we incorporated Bluetooth inside it. So not just it's a J-Box that we can use every other manufacturer's information, paper instance, and put it on a laptop, but now we can use this J-Box with our Android system to have that conductivity to the car. It automatically links. So you, the, the consumer doesn't need to do anything. Turn the tool on, it links automatically. Tell us a little bit about the unique software in this device. In this case here, we're looking at data PIDs. And we're able to now display the data PIDs in many different ways. We're actually looking at a data stream from a, a Nissan truck that's about oh, 50 feet or so away out in the parking lot. And uh, we're looking at the PIDs of a mass airflow sensor right at this present moment in time. The other thing is max effects. Can you imagine 100,000 users all over the world using our tool? And as long as they're online, they can post anything in our uh, Autel form, which for free, and it's a cloud. It's all cloud-based. So it's something that we decided to, let's bring this tool to the next level. And that's what we did. You hear what he just said? It's kind of like IATN, but for free. That's really fantastic. That's correct. Show us how we get the information, though. If you look at the bottom, the bottom is really ease of use of all the icons. And since it's Android, we can go, right, find out what's open, go right to Motor Logic, look up what we want, and then go right back to the car if we wish uh, and see what we need to, to get done. This tool records everything that you do for the, for, that, for the time you're using on the car. We can go right to the screen that we want, say Shop Manager, hit Shop Manager, and can you imagine a tool that can record everything that is done in the shop and put it into the cloud? I'm going to go back to 2013, and I want to look at this Toyota RAV4. It gives you the VIN number, tells us when we did it, and it gave us the codes and stored it for us right in the cloud. So not only could we do this three cars back, we could do it for every car that we hooked the tool up to. What if I wanted to take a picture or a screen grab of something I did back then? Does the uh, system store that as well? Anything on the screen we can capture. We're looking at now the TPMS. I want to capture this for the consumer. So all I got to do is a couple of things. I can, print, I can hit print, and it's going to print the image right to the printer. We can save the image as a JPEG, a PDF, or, or what I can do is hold the camera down, and it takes a picture of the screen capture. You can actually store voice recordings. So you can actually, it's got a camera, a five megapixel camera, where I can take a picture of anything that I have done on the car, store it within this information base, and then put it to the cloud for further use. We have technical support 
using the phone so they can call up and we can help them. We actually have support right from the tool, so they would go right to the tool. It automatically goes and shows you your account, and you can actually get in touch with us right from the tool. And the third way of doing tech support is we can actually remote into this tool while you're in the car. But better than that, if you had five shops, Jim, and you had one fantastic tech, he can tie into any of the tools that we just sold you. Now the good tech can just go right on the internet, tie into the tool, and make believe he's in front of the car, which he's in front of the tool to fix it. Well, that's really great information. So all the technology that we have available today is all encompassed in modern scan tool systems. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us, and I'm sure it's going to help.